Hello there. Welcome to a take in the Philippines. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, ding dong. Uh, been busy today, well this afternoon, with punches on this uh, yield pickup. Uh, I had a slow puncher on that side and then just after lunch I looked and this front tire was completely flat. So I put the spare wheel on which was soft but it got me there. But the spare wheel is very much smaller than the other the wheels that are on it. So I got the puncture repaired on the tire what went flat, there was a nail in it. Um, and then I'm going to look at the offside tyre which uh, had a slow puncture and the offside tyre it was leaking a little bit from the rim with mud which we've got a lot of on this site at the minute um, so I took that tyre off and uh, cleaned the rim and we're good now but um, the tools we're using to take these tyres off are the same tools we use for a motorbike tyre. There's no steel in these tyres at all. I don't know where they come from, China or India. But they're a very cheap tyre. And uh, one tyre iron, you got the going off the rims, no problem at all. Um, but there again, you're not running on 70 mile an hour on tyres here, you know, the, the fastest I go is 40, if the road's, main road's clear. Um, so I've been busy with that all afternoon, and uh, I'll just switch the microphone on. <laughs> but uh, all what's happened on site today is there's construction workers. So, following on from what we were saying yesterday on that video, because I forgot to give them a mention, the poor bees yesterday, they took these off, um, and they partly dug that hole for the fence post yesterday. Now today they're working a bit differently, and they make, they've made it really hard for themselves, in so much that this is the way they want to do it. One, one man was doing the iron work and he's done the iron work for five posts. So he's been working hard, cutting it and bending it and it more goes into them, the iron work than what you imagine. Um, but the other two fellas, from nine o'clock this morning till two o'clock this afternoon, they were non-stop digging for these four stones. They had an hour for lunch, one to, uh, 12 to 1. But um, it's been really hot here. And them two have worked hard. Even when I was younger, I don't think I could have bloody worked in that heat they worked in. But I'll just show you this gate post. It's the same as what they put in the post for the piggery. There's an awful lot of iron work in the bottom of there. So I don't know what they're doing tomorrow. Eh? Um, they did say they wanted to pour two panels. But they're going to have to dig out the foundation and cement that. So I don't know if they will be pouring panels tomorrow. Or they'll be doing all the foundations right down to the bottom. But either way, um, it, it, it's, it's a lot of lot of work. It's, it's a good day's work for three men. Um, so we'll see if they pour panels or not. But they will be pouring. No, they can't be pouring panels because oh no, they poured. They poured three posts. Not yet. No, they haven't. No, well they can't be pouring panels tomorrow. They'll be doing the the footings for two panels and pouring the posts. I would imagine. And then on Monday they'll um, pour two panels and do the footings for the next two. But yeah, next week we're easily going to be finished on on this next week. 
and um, we were starting on the veranda. I know the, the leading man is keen to uh, start on the veranda. Um, he's telling me what he's going to do. So I said, yeah, I'll just leave it up to you. And he's overlapping the sides of the veranda so it looks nice in his words. So I'll just let him go with it. And I've no doubt he'll make a good job. So that will do for today. Short video, nothing much happening. But um, we'll speak again on the next one.